Waiting Outside the Line by Grayson Chance. Waiting Outside the Lines is really simple. It's mostly just one sort of repeating uh, loop. There's one little bridge part that I'll show you that comes in later. So the main loop that you're going to have to learn so it sounds like this. That's it. It's really easy, and maybe it looks like there's a lot of moving parts, but I'll, I'll simplify it for you as best I can. Uh, so basically, what your right hand is playing there is kind of like a, a D flat chord, a D flat major. So D flat, F, and A flat. But you're gonna play it inverted, and you're gonna play sort of an, a pattern on top of it. So you're gonna be playing in this order: A flat, D flat, F, D flat, C, D flat, F. So that's the exact pattern that your right hand is going to be doing the whole, uh, all the way through that verse, no matter what your left hand does. Get my fingers out of here. So A flat, D flat, F, D flat, C, D flat, F, D flat, and that just loops. So that's all your right hand plays, uh, at least for this, um, this, this part. And all while, you, while your right hand is doing that, your left hand is going to be sort of hammering out these uh, these sort of bass notes. And the notes that you're going to be playing are uh, D flat, C's, C's, B flat, and G flat. So when you put it all together, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about that fast. And this hand is going to be going about this fast. Slower than it actually is. And you just loop. And as you can see, I started back over. You just loop that uh, those four chords. Um, now, the fingers you want to use in your right hand are sort of up to you. What feels most comfortable to me, because my hands are a little bit um, on the large side, I think, uh, is to use my forefinger on that F and my thumb up here and bring my thumb down to C. If you don't want your hand to move around that much, you can also try like thumb, three, five, three, two, three, five. Whatever feels comfortable and easy for you to play, that's what you should do. And you just play octaves in your left hand, okay? So the only other tiny little piece you need to know is the bridge, and that's... Uh, basically, your, your left hand is gonna sort of move up from G flat, to A flat, to B flat, to D flat, and your right hand is sort of complementing with these D flats and C's. D flat, C, D flat, so. So that's it. Right hand sort of. It's sort of when the left hand is in between the left hand, you know? After you get through those four, those G, that G flat, A flat, B flat, and D flat, it just goes back in. So that's it, really. That's it, yeah, and you can sort of, you know, fancify it. The only other little thing to know about this song is that at parts it doesn't play this pattern, it just plays the chords. In which case you'll just want to hold onto the chords without that C. So your right hand will play that, C, that uh, D flat major, so A flat, D flat, and F, while your left hand does its thing. Cool. So that's it. Um, I hope this piano tutorial helped you. Check out the original if you want to uh, get a sense for um, what it sounds like in context. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.